good morning and welcome back to yet another bow review. Would you have expected that? And today we have finally long awaited since months the Sada from Oak Ridge. I got it from Aeroforge in Germany. Many say it's a good bow, some say it's a crappy bow. I ordered a 50 pound, but they only had then at the final end a 25 pound. And my friend Stefan from Germany wants to send me one in 35 pound, supposed to be on the way. So we see when we get this one, if it might perform differently. So this is then, if this would be then a nice beginner version, 25 pounds, and it's the bamboo one. There's a black version too, so, but only so you know. So I opened everything, I hope, or not. And then we put it out here. What do we get? A nice sturdy sleeve. Oops, I have this on my fletching tip. Not part of the order. And a string, obviously. So bow, string and a sleeve. What can I tell you about the bow? It's the Oak Ridge Sada bamboo. I think it's kind of a, yeah, very much like the, like a Tatar design. Looks pretty. Handle a bit small, but overall, wow. Very shiny. Here we have green, red wood in it. 28 inches at 25 lips, other oak ridge. So we have here nice string bridges and the rest is a little like, yeah, not, not really like Tatar. They call it horsebow and they say we made it 52 inches because most horsebows are 20, uh, 48 inches and they are then a little short and a little hard to draw. Uh, this one is 52 inches, the string has 120 centimeters. This bow is available from 25 to 55 pounds. There's even a 60 pound version, but I didn't get the point. Max draw of this bow is 31, so let's see if it does it. The arrow weight is per pound 0.6 grams, then you know the weight of the arrow. And the price, this is the interesting part, it's from 99 to 140 euros to 140 euros you can get this bow. So if it's 100 euro, comparable price to the, you know, top archery, which broke after 25 arrows, would be a nice competitor for that. This is all information I could find on the internet. I had to check three different stores to find any information about this bow. Most people most probably think it's not worth it for a cheap bow like this to write a lot of information. I think they're wrong, but it's me. So 53 inches from knock to knock. Arrow pass is quite wide, I guess. And this is the top. It's here. The narrowest part directly at the leather would be 23 and a half. As we don't know the brace height yet, we can't tell if it's good or not. String, we get a nice string, which looks, yeah, nice. One can tell. This is the longer one, I guess. The longer one is the bottom one. Overall, craftsmanship doesn't look so bad for the price. String knocks are very tight, so let's see how easy it is to string. Okay, it's a 25 pound. Nothing worth shaking, but with these string bridges, it makes your life quite easy. Not too bad. So, whoo, look at this pretty bow. It's not too heavy. 350, 370, I always start guessing, you know me. 395, yeah, it's still okay. But now the moment of truth. This bow is supposed to have 31 inches draw. Brace height is five and three quarter inches. But overall feels not too bad. Handle is a little small. And I think the string should be the other way around. But um, hmm. true experience is nice. Of course, it's only 25 pound. Handle is a little bendy. So these arrows are 32 inches. Up to the easy and then it gets a little stiff, but maybe this bow needs a few shots. Snappy, not too bad. I only don't like the brace head is a little low, but overall, there you have it. Very easy, so your Kashai, easy. 
This one with a little practice might work too. Not so easy. The handle is a little wide here, a little squarish, but you get used to it, I guess. I mean, for the price so far, not bad. Could you shoot three fingers Mediterranean? Oh, almost center shot. These are 29 inches now. Yeah, you have a little vibration and hand shock. With these arrows. 320 grain. And vibration. Yeah, you can't expect too much of a ball like this. But it's okay. But overall, I guess. It's not bad, so I shoot reasonably accurate. You always need to see the price, and for the price, it's a nice Tatar ish style bow. And let's see how accurate this all is here. At 28. Tick. 25.04. Doesn't get any more accurate, so 25 pounds. 31. Oops, we should zero you first. And at 31, we have 30.4. 28. Now, nothing to be afraid of. See? String angle is. Yeah, it's there. 28 inches, 60 degree string angle. 30? 30. <laughs> looks still good. This is very thin here, but the fade out still looks good. Not too much stress. Not too bad. So at 31, would be here. Oh, yeah, and then you feel it. Then the bow gets a little stiff. Medium wiggly. And yeah, it's relatively sturdy, so you really need to force the bow to do this. So for a beginner, it's not too bad at all. And 31 inches is most based enough for most of the people. Look. It's nice, you have vibration. You feel it. 29 is nice, 30 is nice, 31 gets already a little stiff, so you feel it, doesn't want to make more. So I would go with 30 inches with this bar. Would not want to max it out all the time. Pet experience. Yeah, you, you can even hear it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you feel it in the limb and in the handle quite a lot, even if there's a leather around it. Dampens it, but you feel it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, but 100 euros. I guess in 30, 35, it's just a nice all round. 25 is a little on the low side. 20. Yeah, does it? Does it? Goes a little to the right. Uh, of course, because the arrow pass is quite wide and the brace head is very short, so your arrow is angled quite off center, so you need to compensate for that. But when you do a little torque, it's fine. You do a little down cutter. Oops, not bad, not bad. Getting there, we're getting friends slowly. 320 grain. Fifty-seven, hundred fifty-two, hundred fifty-two. Yeah, the arrows are quite heavy for it. 
155 foot per second. It's not bad, it's not a speed demon, but I guess for a beginner, I mean, you need to consider the price 100 euros, 120, 30 euros, depending where you get it from. You get a really pretty bow. Look at this, which does 31, which has a little vibration and hand jog, but does cutra and everything. Kicks quite a bit in the handle. Even with heavy arrows like this, you feel it, so it's... Uh, you feel it. More than I like. But... I think the bracelet is a little too low. But on the other side, the string is just nice in the string bridges. I mean, overall, it's a, it's a well-made bow. Here you have a reinforcement. Tips are quite massive then. There's nice reinforcement on both sides. AG design here. You have a nice sear coming down there. You have here this nice big string pad, which makes your life easy. You have this slightly, slightly Kazan-ish style. Then here you have your handle. You see this doubled up here. On the back, not that much, so the handle is quite um, shallow, but wide. But it has a slight drop shape. Aeropass could be a little more narrow. Overall, it's okay. For my hand, it's a handle too small. This color combination, matter of taste. The glass looks good. We only have a few of these spots there, but I think they don't do any harm. The string is nice, center serving is nice and wide. Draw experience is okay. 28 is nice, 29, 30, 31. Now the bow flexes a little more. Feels, feels safe in the hand. Shooting experience is not where this top archery bow was, but at least this bow might last more than 25 arrows. But once you get the hang of it, it's fine. That's everything you want. Accurate. Nice group. Now we start liking each other. Yeah, I, 29 feels better. So with 29, this bow feels better. I would not go further than 30 inches. Then this bow gets, I don't know. Kind of like a bit wiggly then at the end in full draw. So, hmm. but for a beginner in beginner horse bow, that's the job. And you don't care here, the string will slap you. So, you need to make sure you hold the bow properly. Vibration. Let's say if you just start and before you buy a snake bow in plastic, this could be an alternative. They are speed wise similar. You don't have an arrow shelf, which makes your life a little hard as a beginner, but at least the bow looks a bit more like a horse bow and you can do everything with this bow you want. It's not too bad. Look. Now we're getting there. Even with these arrows, 25, what did we have? 30 pounds, so we are not even a 10 grain. And you have quite some head shock. So you feel, you feel this, uh, you feel when the string comes forward, this, this motion, you feel this like, like a little kick because we have string bridges and then overall the bow is a little too flexible to handle this kick then you feel it and afterwards you have a little vibration 
when it doesn't bug you it's fine i would maybe twist the string a little that we have a bit more brace it that's it here you have it this other long awaited many people asked for it the rating package string sleeve and the bow nothing else no description nothing two points handling the bow hard to string easy to string straight surprisingly the bow is straight eh, okay not completely but it's stiff enough so it's easy to string so for a beginner just nice and it's straight five points the build from a rough decent good looking perfect it's a good looking bow we have a few there are scratches i don't know what it is or dents then you have in the glass here this this milky looking patches and there are some so and it's not that i was kicking someone with this bow here you have a few more so it's a good looking bow it's not perfect and uh, here the serving comes off already so this is not very nice so i need to fix that now otherwise it comes completely off i don't like it how many arrows did i shoot so string quality is not there <laughs> it's a good looking bow it's an okay looking okay give it four stars three and a half to four i give you four stars the basic feel was from very wiggly handle balanced the bow is not too wiggly you feel it so it's moving the handle for me is too small and not deep enough it's way too flat in this dimension the width is okay but here there's nothing to hold on for me for my size of hands but overall it's balanced so it's nothing earth shaking four points draw experience on the other side 31 inch max draw 28 29 30 31 without staking and afterwards 232 you feel it going up what i don't like is that the handle is bending so you feel the handle and this is simply a lack of material they should make this handle part way thicker a good five to eight millimeters here on the back then you have it more pronounced would make your life here easier you could grab it better and the handle would not flex that much that's why but her experience is fine five shooting experience was big hand shock long vibration medium hand shock so this bow has a hand shock and it has vibration it's quite you feel it quite a lot these arrows 320 grain at what do we have 30 pounds quite heavy so you need to shoot heavy arrows with this but then the bow is not very fast anymore it's already only 155 I would go even with heavier arrows to compensate for this hand shock. So for this one, I give this bow three to four. It's really, you feel it really. So it rattles in your hand. Three, which leaves you with an open button here for no reason. 23 points price value on the other side 100 to 130 euros what i found on the internet it's nice for an entry level laminated bow of course i can't tell now durability we will shoot this bow now a few times i told you last time with the other one then it cracked already in my hands um, i will give it to my students they will shoot this bow even to maybe a few new ones that this bow gets a little abused after i fix the string obviously how can this happen? Huh? After only a few shots, the string comes loose seriously. Um, then we see what the durability will say. In my opinion, 100 euros, yes, it's worth it. So I give it five price value. Things to change, handle for sure, thicker. Then you get maybe a, less, a little less flex, a little less vibration and hand in the handle. You feel it better, keeps the bow a bit more safe. It would bend the same way, so it's not a big deal. Simply make the center part here a little thicker on the back, and then you have the handle shape nicer. And the second thing is the brace side is for me a little low. 
when you don't care here, then it comes really, it's not even six inches. So you might really need to know what you're doing here. Otherwise, for a beginner, get an arm guard, you might shoot your arm. So that's all I said. And when you consider the price, it's fine. The Sada by Oak Ridge. Thank you Aeroforge for sending the bow to me. Of course I paid it. People ask for it, so I got it for you. And I get soon the 35 pound version. I will test it if there is something to add. I will do a follow up, a quick one. If it's the same, then you don't even see a review of the 35 pound one. We will see. Oh yeah, and look, just finished and They always work so perfect in timing. Dong. Only two? Okay, only two. There we go. So, thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.